Holy moly, Daycare, your nipples must be really sore. Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, we do have some bad news to start off the video here. And if I can remember, there we go. Um, we had a guy named Tattletail. We raised during this event that we were doing. And <laughs> he didn't make it. So... He grew up to be an adult, um, but somehow when I was grabbing a drop up north, um, I must have double hit square while entering the drop because um, looking at the footage, it looks like I threw him and didn't even realize it. And by the time I realized it, I went back to go get him and uh, the uh, he had gotten eaten by a dire wolf. Which is a shame because Tattletail was one of my favorite main names I've came up for. And the reason is, um, is if you guys don't know, here, let's get him out a little bit here. This is his brother, Glow Buddy. And if you guys don't know what these guys are, these are Glow Tails uh, from Aberration that we got in a, the gift when we went over and gave the shotgun shells. So over here, as you can see, he's got a hat on. This is what they normally look like. And I did have a flak helmet actually on um, Glow Buddy as well. But being up in the north, the dire wolf, you know, the dire, dire wolf got him pretty quick. As you can see, they don't have a ton of health here. Oop, wrong button. There we go. 787. And uh, this is his brother, but this is his brother that, for some reason, with leg, I couldn't get a full imprint on. Tattletail had a full imprint, but what these guys do is they light up the area around you, and they also um, they also tell you when an enemy player's around or when a max level dinosaur is around. That's the reason I named it Tattletail. Uh, with the tail being spelled like that. I, <laughs> so I think we're going to eventually, uh, we're going to carry this guy. Because um, I think it's dark out and you guys might be able to see what he is like. Now a lot of the stuff from the other maps, you know, we'll pick up here and there. But I'm trying to leave a lot of it for when we go to that particular map. Ooh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, so we need to come up here. I'm thinking this is going to be a good thing. So, um, we've had a few dinos die and, um, that was actually our first personal dino death. Um, so we need to, I think today we're going to build a, uh, a little bit of a graveyard up here on the hill. I think we're going to name it Max Level Graveyard, just to kind of cool. Because I kind of want to not forget the dinos um, that we have lost throughout the series. Six, here we go. Just trying to remember how wide we are doing this. I think we can go possibly six wide as well. Um, let's see, that's six there. And <clears throat> I have never actually, I don't think I've actually built a graveyard. But it's something that a person should do. Um, if, if you get the extra space. And also if you don't murder a lot of dinos. Let's see, that is five, six. Let's get one more in there if we can. Let's try to get a sideways dealio right here. There we go. And I think I have a cool idea here for our design.
Alright, so we're going to start right now with maybe the stone bottoms. So let's go ahead and place these down. Also, I have some really good news for you guys today um, as well, because we did raise a lot of dinos. And we'll be looking at a lot of the dinos as time goes on, but I don't want to blast you with a million dinos that we did raise during the event. Um, but it was a maturation event, and they're pretty rare uh, for the most part. And we did need to get some dinos done. Uh, so I kind of went a little crazy on that front. I think this might look cool. I'm not sure. Just like this. Oh, I think what we're going to need to do, though, is I think I have an idea I want to try for this graveyard. So we need to... Um, so that would be what? Yeah, we can't do it here either. So let's go ahead and do it here. And we want to do this. Like so. Like so. And at least get one in here. And then we're going to play with that a little bit in a minute here. But let's get these down. And get the rails going oops shoot darn it let's pick that up i uh when i went to europe i never did get a chance to study build the ology so uh you'll have to bear with me i actually should have looked up a cool idea for a cemetery but i kind of don't like doing that i like to do my own thing a lot of times when i am trying to be somewhat creative here but like I was saying, we have some really good news that we're going to show you guys after we get done with the cemetery. And something I'm really excited about. Let's get these last of these rails up. And I think what we're going to do... Alright, that looks pretty nifty. Although, man, now I wish I had put a standing torch there. You know, it's the cemetery, though. It's kind of supposed to be dark, so uh, maybe not. All right, let's go grab inside here quick. Threadsies are poking out of the doorway there. And I think, let me go play with that entrance, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, and we are back. I am going to take some thatch here. And we are going to go ahead and put it in our... Uh, got a couple things. I redesigned it. Obviously, it was looking really big and bulky. So we'll take a look at it in a second. It is really cool. Oh, looks like we had a visitor there for a second. And... um. We are going to go ahead and light the fires. Hopefully this kind of looks cool. Um, I'm actually really happy with this. I tore the down and I like these, uh, the pole pillars. They look, they made it more look more graveyardy. But like I said, I'm not the greatest builder, but I'm pretty happy with this. And we have three headstones in here, guys. Obviously... The first one being Tattletale, that's really, really uh, disappointing. <laughs> and uh, that's okay. Maybe we uh, we got his brother, so that's okay. Hopefully he lasts longer than he did, or than Tattletale did. And every baby that isn't good enough, because I'm not going to put a headstone for every baby I pike to death. That's just not going to happen. And on a lighter note, we have a couple of new tribates that are new to the game. And so we have this one. Every Dino, Ray, and Striker ride. They have been on a pretty good tear with losing uh, Dinos. As you can see down here, you'll see a lot of red um, between Ray and Striker. A tribe... Um, definitely has had a few deaths, so. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, time for the good news. And uh, the good news is, 
our gigas are getting pretty close. So this one right here is Demon King. He is going to be our new main giga. These other ones are community, and this other white and purple one is Demon King's brother, who is my uh, going to be my wife's main rider. So I just have it in here since they're all growing. And he is going to be done, I'm hoping, Friday night. And if he is done Friday night, we're going to take, I'm going to do a live stream. I do believe where we are actually, oh, he wants simple kibble. You're 100% imprinted. You know what? Just just because that maturation, maturation event was so awesome uh, to get, the imprinting bonus is done really easy. I think we're going to try this just to see if... Oh, we don't even have Simple Kibble. You know what? Let's pet them up and see if we can't get that thing going away. On some of the dinos, they won't ask for anything again, and that gets really annoying because it you know, makes you think you got an imprint to do. Um, so, and even though you really don't... Oh, shoot. Where did his bag go? We need that meat. Alright, and what did he want now? Imprinting plus zero. Just to make sure there wasn't no decimal place or nothing like that. But And just to get it off of the thing. So now it's not doing it anymore. But this guy here is super powerful. Um, he has got 530, or 553 points in the melee and 107 in weight which is about as max as gigas are going to get, because you can see he's already really high level. You don't want him to be over 371 at hatch on these regular ones, because he can only go up to 450. So he is as good as regular gigas are pretty much ever going to get. Now, I like having the health for being able to carry stuff and meat runs over... Or I mean, I like the weight... <laughs> for carrying stuff and meat runs over the health because I've never had a giga die uh, other than I think I've had a couple die off of fall damage you know uh, you know that kind of happens getting getting in a fight and then accidentally jumping off a cliff and like lagging and not getting off in time or you know, but other than that, I've never actually had a Giga die. They've always been rage related or, you know, a falling incident. So it's never been really health that's been the issue. So I wanted zero points in health because honestly, 33,000 points or health is going to be really insane as it is already. We don't really need any more than that. And I'd much rather have the weight because these guys can get really encumbered with weight during or with meat and pelt and whatnot during the events. But guys, I think on Friday we're gonna live stream him actually growing, or we're gonna go take him out and level him and get revenge on them dire wolves that obliterated Tattletail. <laughs> And then also, too, I've been starting to feel better, so I've been able to get on a little bit more. This maturation event was really important, and I think it was bugged out, because normally uh, imprints are eight hours apart, you know, to raise their stats. So if you guys don't know what an imprint is, what it does is his regular stats were 1285 melee and 1449 health in his uh, uh, 1449 weight and 1449 health and you get these little things when you take care of them like we just did with that imprinting they'll want either a cuddle or a kibble or something like that and their stats go up every time you do that till it gets up to a hundred percent imprint well normally the imprinted imprinting kind of made you know uh, matches the maturation. For example, a lot of times, you know, he'd only be 60% maturated. I'd still be doing imprints. But it feels like this event was kind of bugged out on on our all our dinos. And we were getting imprints every four hours that were double. So he essentially 
was done with imprints at like 48% maturation, I believe, which is really incredible, which is nice on a Giga because then you can just let them sit. We've been sitting over here having them on the trough. Now, they will not eat out of the Maywing first, but I have it as a backup plan just in case we can see we have these troughs full of meat. Let's restack it and drop the spoil. You always want to restack your meat to make it last longer. And uh, normally, actually, we're going to do it the better way. I'm just going to type a C in my hot bar. This is how I normally do it. And then it'll leave my spoiled meat in my inventory. But, yep, definitely restacking them is a very uh, big deal, guys. Also, guys, this is going to be a hair shorter episode because if I work on another project, the next project, guys, is going to be uh, a big one. Uh, so I can't really start that yet. But anyway, guys, we will see you in the next episode. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you next time.